welcome to my YouTube channel and um, this is my first video so excuse any mistakes or any nervous twitches but here I am. I uh, thought I'd give you a bit of sort of a rundown of what I'm hoping to uh, produce for my channel, a bit of an introduction to me and then we'll move on to some skincare and hopefully some makeup um, if we get that filmed well enough. So my name's Rebecca, I am on TikTok mostly, that's sort of my main platform I use. Um, TikTok came for me at the beginning of lockdown when I was on my own. Um, I wasn't allowed to see my girlfriend because I was shielding. I wasn't far out of an abusive relationship, so I was still struggling with all the emotions left from that. And I just was a bit lonely, really. Um, so I started my TikTok account, just making a few lip syncing videos, doing a little bit of rubbish dancing, uh, loving life. And it, it took off from there. Uh, so I posted my abuse story, which sort of pumped me into a thousand followers. And then I started going live and it's all just taken off since then. I literally love TikTok. It really has um, been there for me and I've made some wonderful friends and it's really helped me regrow my confidence. You can literally see on my TikTok timeline, my confidence growing and growing back from what was diminished by my ex. There will be a story time on that at some point, but not quite yet. So I will be doing I will be doing some awareness videos on domestic abuse. Um, I would like to do sort of my day to day life. Um, I'm a mum. I have a little boy. He's two on the 29th of this month. So there will be some videos for sort of focusing around him. I am in a relationship with Freya, um, who is wonderful. He's a trainee tattoo artist slash artist. So I will be doing some stuff, um, sort of focusing on her. Hoping I can make you some interesting videos um, and keep you coming back for more. I'm going to start by just popping this up out of my way. I don't want to get anything in my hair. So I have literally the biggest range of skincare. It's become a bit of an obsession recently buying skincare. So I do have quite the collection as you've just seen. So I'm going to do you my morning routine slash what I would put under my makeup. If I wasn't wearing makeup, this routine would be slightly different. So, um, I will always start um, normally with this peel. Um, I'm going to do a dermaplane today, so I will do that after the dermaplane. So the dermaplanes I use are from Amazon, and um, I will link them in the description box. Um, I haven't used any others, so I cannot compare them to anything else. Um, but these ones have been really good. I haven't been able to get, obviously, any beauty treatments done during lockdown, so I've been trying to do as much of it myself. I always put something underneath, um, just a light coating. Uh, this is a Ren Gel Moisturiser and it's vitamin C. If you give me a second, because I just want to let that soak in for a second. So it's this, it's a Ren Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I do use this as a moisturiser as well. Um, because it's a gel, it works really nicely underneath the dermaplane. So you take your dermaplane blade, you always work, a, I always work down, I think that's correct. Probably should have looked into this before. I've got a mirror just here, so I'm going to do it in the mirror, but you should be able to see the sort of motion I'm using. So I stretch the skin out. You can see it's taken some bits off. So I just give it a wipe on a little pad and then I go straight back in. So always in the downwards motion, like I said before. Um, I find the dermaplane amazing for keeping my moustache under control and it's completely pain free. So I do my whole face, I find it keeps it really nice and smooth, no peach fuzz, my makeup goes on beautifully, my pores are unblocked. I uh, did a bit of a close up here for you, please ignore the state of my skin, I haven't been looking after it this week. But yeah, here you can see the real motion. Once I've done that, my skin always feels really soft, like I've got no peach fuzz on it or anything like that. I then go in with the vitamin C peel from The Body Shop. Um, their website says to use this on a night time. Um, but I think it's fab for just getting any leftover dry skin off your face. Um, it will literally, you can see it just peeling away any dead skin. Once I've done that, I just take off any dead skin with a damp crawl. I then go in with a cleanser. This is one that I got for my birthday, so I've only been using it for a couple of days. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really good for my skin because it's quite oily. It's Squaline, Squaline Cleanser. Um, it's the Ordinary. I love the Ordinary products. I've received some for my birthday. 
uh, I hadn't tried them before that. Um, they're so affordable and the products are so lovely. So I'm just going to give my face a really good clean. A nice massage while I'm doing that to keep that skin looking nice and youthful. But it, as you can see, it's quite oily. Maybe it won't, wouldn't be the best for someone who suffers from oily skin. Um, because you don't want to be putting more oil on your skin. But I love it. I think it's so lovely. And it's it made a really good base the other day. Because I'm lazy, once I've done this, I use the Strawberry Smoothing Spray. Again, the Body Shop. Um, I've got a lot of those products. I used to do the Body Shop at home. So a lot of the products I have from them. But I do also really like the Body Shop products. I think they're lovely. So I would just squirt a bit of that on a pad. And just wipe the leftover cleanser off. I'm always surprised at the muck that comes off your face. When I did my skincare last night, it's all just pollution. So that all has to come off. There we go. Next step underneath my makeup, I like to use the Body Shop Drops of Light Translucent Essence Lotion. This reflects light off your face wonderfully and it always looks really nice under your makeup. It gives you a bit more of a glowy look. This is a lovely product. Um, it's left over from when I used to do the body shop at home. As I said, quite a few of the products I have are, but I would definitely purchase that again once it runs out. If you just look, once you wipe that on, my skin, it just instantly gives you just that, that tad of a glow. And it seems to, you still seem to be able to see it under your makeup. Just let that sit in for a couple of minutes. We have now that's absorbed into my face. We're gonna go in with the toner. This again is the Ren. It's the Clean Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA to Tonic. I don't know why toners have suddenly become tonics. Um, I'm going with it. This was in a set that I got for my birthday off Freya, which I, I'm really liking. So, I'm just going to pop a little bit on a pad. And again, just get that all over my face. It literally smells incredible. Smells so good. So next I'm going to go in with um, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I do have two different hyaluronic acids and I'm sort of switching between the two at the moment. This is a new one so I always like to use my new products for a couple of days just to make sure that I like them. Hyaluronic Acid um, is fantastic. It's really good to put under your makeup as it plumps your skin up and you're less likely to get your makeup sitting in creases. So I'm just going to work that into the face. And again, I'm just going to let that sit in, have its effect, hopefully plump my skin up a little bit, and then we're going to go in with our moisturiser. So the final step before makeup is this Revitalift moisturiser. This is the Day Cream. It's by L'Oreal. It was in-home bargains, and it was an absolute bargain. And it just, my makeup sits really nicely under it. So once I pick a cream, I tend to stick to it for a little while. So this has been my go-to Day Cream. I'm going to film today is just my day-to-day -day makeup if I was nipping into town or going shopping or filming TikToks, going on TikTok live, things like that. So let's get started. I have some new brushes that we're going to try and I've got sort of all the day-to-day -day makeup that I wear in here. Change your position very slightly, just thought it'd be a bit easy for you to see um, how I'm applying the makeup. I will go through the products the best I can, but some of them are a year or two old and may not be in stock or anything anymore. So as always, start with the primer. This is the number seven Airbrush Away Pore Minimizer, which is an absolute godsend because my pores are the size of craters at the moment. Apply that all over everywhere. Feels quite matte as you're applying it. Once that's on, we're then gonna go in with our foundation. This is the brush I use. Um, it's a flat head. I think it was for contouring originally, but it seems to work really well for um, foundation. The Foundation I'm using is the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is actually Freya's foundation. I'm just using it at the moment because I really like it. So once I've got it all over my face like this, I put a little bit of the Conceal and Define dark concealer that we've got that we use for contouring. So I put a bit of that on there. Then I would just spike it through, trying to get everywhere. I will have to keep looking over here because I have a mirror. And then I literally just keep patting until it's 
all in. There's any areas that look a bit bad, just try to buff them out. Once I've done that, I've got a wet beauty blender. It's just wet with water and I'm just going to quickly pat. And it's just to smooth it out. So I then go in and do my contour. I'm going to use this contour palette. I believe they don't make these anymore. This brand has actually stopped producing these. So I just pat it onto my tiny sponge on the flat bit. I've only got a little bit of product on there and we just tap a little bit onto there. So as you can see, I've just tapped that into there. I'm going to tap just a little bit down the side of my nose, either side, like that. And then just on the forehead. I'm then going to take one of my new brushes. These are off Amazon. I will link them below. Uh, I think I'm going to use this one. It feels like it's going to blend it well. And then we're just going to go in. So in small circular motions. You do sometimes just have to add a little bit more product. I do like quite a dark contour. Uh, some people prefer it a bit lighter. I like quite a dark contour. Sorry, I've changed angles again. I just didn't think that you were getting the best view where you were. You blend, keep blending. It does take a little bit of time, but it blends out much nicer with this brush than it does with a blender. Then do the same with the forehead. Now we're gonna use this new brush to do the same with the nose. So we're just gonna blend the product out. So we're gonna blend it up and then just keep blending that down. So you can leave the contour on the nose darker than what you'd leave your cheeks just because once you get the light concealer on the middle it does tend to blend it back out. So that's the contour done, the dark. We're now going to go in with the concealer. Um, I don't actually use concealer, I just go back in with the foundation again because um, it is so light. So we'll just put another couple of dabs under there, a little dab on the end a little swipe there and a little triangle there and then quickly a little bit there this time i'm going to use the beauty blender and i'm going to use the tip of it and i'm just going to blend that out So once I've blended the concealer out, I'm going to set that with a bit of baking powder. I use the Revolution Ghost Finish just because it gives me a really white finish. Um, I think it just sets your contour off a bit better. It's probably far too pale for most people, but it's what I like to do. I use this Real Techniques buffing brush um, to pat it in because I just, again, it works really well for me. Um, so yeah, I just get a bit on the brush and I literally just... And I literally just pat it in. I do just keep going over it and like really making sure I get that in there. And I go right up and up the nose a little bit. It helps give that chiselled look. So again, on the other side, I always just check before baking the other side because it's been left a minute that there's no creases until I can afford Botox. And again, just pat the powder in. Then I take some more powder and I go underneath where my contour is and just pat some in there, a little bit on the forehead and then I finally just get the last little bit on and just give my nose a little tap just to set it on the top of the nose. So you do end up with like a ghostly white looking nose but that will even back out shortly. So the next step is eyebrows. I have mine laminated fairly regularly. My sister-in-law does brow lamination. Um, I do just set them with some soap. Ignore all my eyelash glue on the top of that. So yeah, so I've just got this MUA Pro Base setting spray. I literally just put one squirt on there 
and then I take my trusty toothbrush and I just give it a rub like this till you get a little bit of product on there but you want it to be quite thick up and then we just brush gently up I always just coat them in the soap first and then we go back and shape Soap brows are the best thing ever to happen to makeup. They're my favourite thing. I could never imagine having normal brows now that I've had this shape. So we set them like that. We just keep brushing until they're set where we want them. And then I take this cotton bud and I just push them down so they sit in place where they are. So you just give them a good push. And if there's any strays, I go in with a spoolie and just reset the strays. Like that. So as you can see, they're nice and poked up. And that's the soap brows done. So we're going to underline the brows now. Um, I use this NYX Love Contours All Palette. It's got these very nice brow colours in um, and that's what I use for my brows at the moment. I use my soap brows again. I just put a little squirt of setting spray on there and I just give my brush a bit of a wet. I don't use this product dry. I find it much nicer wet and then I just... You want to get like a paste. I basically make my own pomade. Um, because I can't find one that I like enough. So, yeah, once I've got a little bit of product on there, um, we then go in. So I'm going to use this mirror, but hopefully you'll be able to see. And we underline. And then we'll just go back in and smooth the line because it gets a little bit thicker in places. So we're just going and even that out. And then just make sure that your hairs are still sat where you want them. So that's that one underlined. Now we're just going to do the other one. That one's really thick, but it's fine. We will just increase that one very slightly <clears throat> so now they're underlined we're just going to fill in any gaps um, and just give that natural but um fill full look so i always just go in and do a few little hair strokes across the brow like that just gives the illusion of a nice thick brow and again Like that and then I just blend the line in a little bit I don't like it to be too so once I filled them in and just blended it up a bit that's sort of my eyebrows done I'm gonna go under I'm gonna go over and underline with some concealer next uh, and just fix a bit of where I've gone too far with the um, lining so again just my foundation this is another cheap brush off amazon at some point so i always just start with a line and then we just sorry i can't see properly and then just leave a little bit under there like that and then we just use this is a buffing brush and we just blend that in there and all over the eye and just around where that contour is and then we just take this brush and we give that a quick set so just some pats 
And that's that eyebrow done. And that's the other side done. By setting our contour. We're going to do that using this Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. Um, I got this for my birthday, very kindly of Freya. Um, I'm going to go in with this colour, give it a good blow, and then we're just going to just buff that into the cheeks. And that way, that's that contour set. And we're just going to set it on the forehead. This is another one of our new brushes. We're going to just put a little dab of it on there. We really do want to blow that one off and make sure there's not too much product on it. But then we're just going to go down the side of the nose and set that contour. So once we've done that, we're going to work on our bake. So we've baked um, our face. We just need to blend that out. So we're just going to start by tapping where we have baked and then just giving it a little bit of a, a gentle buff. And what that should do is that should even out the powder. So again, give it a pat, make sure that all that product's worked in and, and set all of that concealer and then just give it a little rub. And that should be a lot more even. Be careful with the nose because makeup comes off so easily. This is a lovely brush, it's a revolution one again. It's a powder brush, but it works so well. So as you can see, I've blended that bake out now. So I'm going to attempt to fill my eyeliner. It may be a bit tricky because I'm going to have to use a mirror. So I'll try to do it so that you can see. But if you can't, I apologise. If my eyeliner also goes a mess, I've only been doing eyeliner successfully for about two weeks. But we'll give it a go. So I do each eye differently. This eye, I go up. No, this eye I go up and back in, this eye I go down. For some reason, that's how I have to do it. So, are you ready? So, start by drawing the initial line. I go from the inside here out, and I try to sort of match it to where my eyebrow naturally finishes. I obviously extend it very slightly, but where it naturally finishes. And then I go, not from quite the top, but a bit further down. And we just go in like that. So what we're trying to do is sort of a straight line from there to about the middle of your eye. And then we're just going to go up again and just try to fill that line out and fill it in. So I go from sort of here outwards when I'm filling it in. And then we just give that, we just fill that in. I'm like the worst person ever to give an eyeliner masterclass because I've only literally been able to do it a couple of weeks myself. I always like to then thicken this bit. So it's what gives that really dramatic liner look. That's finished look. So then again, we're going to do the same over here. But we're going to try and match it. The thing about these pens is I find they dry out so quickly. So I've got different shaped eyes, that's why I do each eye slightly differently. It's been the only way I've been able to get them semi-even. Not blessed like some people with perfectly shaped eyes. And that is basically how I do my eyeliner. It doesn't look all that until I've got my lashes on, but it's better than I used to be able to do it. So next step is literally um, a little bit of mascara, put some colour on the lashes so you can't see them. I also find it really good for highlighting areas that you've missed with your eyeliner. So like you can see here now that there is loads of white. Look at so next step is to get my lashes on. I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive and the lashes I wear are the Ardell Wispies. Um, but I wear literally one for one set for about three weeks. These are two weeks strong at the moment and still going. And then I just dot a little bit on here. And then we take a clip, any glue that's already on it off. And I just use the end of the clip just to pick up some glue and just brush it on. I find that this is better than squirting it on because you get a more even application of the glue. Um, and you don't end up making as much of a mess. 
So we're going to let them, let the glue just go tacky on that. And again, we're going to do the same with this one. And then take the glue and just wait for the eyelash glue to dry and get tacky. We're just going to take this Avon blush and this Revolut Re Real Techniques brush. Um, this is a peach luminous blush from Avon. And we're just going to put a little bit of that into the of our cheek. And I just like to pat a bit on my nose. Just gives that luminous glow. So once we've got our blush on, I take my tweezers, pick up my lashes, and then we're just going to apply. So you want to get them as close to your lash line as possible. And then just stick the corners down best you can. The thing I found with eyelashes is it's just persistence. The more you wear them and the more you practice putting them on, the better you will get. Um, try different techniques. I know girls that put them on differently to me, but it works for them. This glue works the best for me. There we go, that one's on. I believe we will double check it in a second. Just give it a minute to dry. Um, you might not be able to see, but I have just stuck that little corner up just a little bit because I found it's given me just that little bit more of a eye. And I also like to just curl mine up a little bit like that. Um, it, I have quite small eyes. So there we go that's that cup the other lash i always find this one the hardest to put on because obviously you're using the other side um but yeah so stick the middle down first like that and then just work in the corners like i said before i use my fingers on this one because it's easier i've just stuck that corner up a little bit just to give that bigger eye illusion it's a trick i saw on tiktok and then just stick the rest of the lash line There is literally nothing worse than your eyelashes coming off halfway through the day. And there, that's lashes on. So we're literally nearly finished now. Um, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. So I've got this nice fluffy brush for highlighting. It says it's a setting brush, but I like it for highlighter. And I'm going to again go in with the Ultra Contour Palette and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one today because it's just a bit more natural looking. Um, I haven't used this yet so we'll see what it looks like. So I'm literally just going to dab a little bit on and just little circular motions and I'm just going to brush that into the skin. A little bit on the end of your nose and then just on that bit there. I always like to go with just a little bit underneath your eyebrow. Just dab that on. And just keep blending that, that highlight in. And then just a little bit. There. The last thing I'm going to do is I am just going to take a little bit of the, um, the other highlight and I'm just going to literally just dab that there because it just really gives an extra extra bit of something so just again check the eyelashes make sure they're on they feel amazing so that is pretty much my day-to-day -day finished look um the only last thing I'm going to do is setting spray so And that is the finished look. That is my day-to-day go-to makeup look. And there we go. That's the finished look. Um, I'm all ready for my day now. I'm um, going to go make some TikToks and get some new content for there. Um, this, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, please give me a like. And if you've got any suggestions, please drop it in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful. And if you could share this to your social media pages, I'd be ever so grateful. Um, thank you so much. Um, new content should be uploaded next week.